Hey everyone, we're out here in Lenore County today uh, visiting a site where we applied swine mortality compost. So you might wonder, what is swine mortality compost? Well, it's just like it sounds. We composted mortalities. Um, this was a project that was born out of uh, the availability of swine mortality compost to do this trial. And so NCDA did a event last year uh, to try to teach uh, the industry how to do swine mortality composting at a large scale uh, should a disease outbreak such as African swine fever come to North Carolina. Uh, so when, I, when you think about swine mortality compost, you might have a certain image, but really this is what it is. It just looks like compost. You might think uh, or might have had the idea that there would be a lot of bones, but we really don't see that many bones. They get composted really well, especially if you grind the material. Uh, this was just a mixture of wood chips and carcasses. And so we got this in the fall of last year, applied it to wheat, uh, and then we uh, uh, stockpiled it and applied it to corn this year. And so part of this project is not only looking at it as a fertilizer source, but also looking at the impact of stockpiling on its fertilizer value. So within this field, we have several different treatments. Uh, we have three different compost rates, zero, two, and six tons to the acre. And then we have five inorganic fertilizer treatments within those that range from zero to 100 pounds of, of nitrogen applied at side dress. Everything receives 16 pounds to the acre as starter fertilizer. And I picked some of the treatments out of this plot to show you the ear lengths and what we're seeing so far. So I picked the highest and the lowest rate out of each of our compost treatments. So I have zero, two, and six tons to the acre with zero side dress across the front and 100 side dress across the back. And so when I'm looking at these, uh, by far the best looking one is the six tons to the acre with 100 pounds at side dress. Uh, but I also see that both of the two ton uh, rates are showing that they're a little shorter and it looks like they might have fewer rows around. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we do see a yield decline or see an impact to yield within the two ton treatments. We don't have yield data yet, but we'll have to get back to you and keep you updated with those results as they come in. Uh, in the field around this, the grower uh, applied 160 to 170 pounds of nitrogen to the acre and got 125 bushels when they picked last week. Um, the realistic yield expectation though for this soil series is 144 bushels per acre uh, and should take 130 pounds of nitrogen. Uh, so we will have to update you once we get the yield results. We do expect to continue this research for an additional two years. Uh, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, Y'all have a good one.